In 1670, Moliere was commissioned by King Louis XIV, nicknamed the Sun King, to write a play that was meant to ridicule a certain ambassador. Black, you promised me you wouldn't go back there. Sorry, Sugar Q, but I can't resist such irresistible beauty. Here it sits every day, beckoning me with its gooey lusciousness. And every time I eat it, it just pops right back up the very next day. Don't you think it's strange that this gross, stinky thing just reappears in the same spot day after day? That's precisely why I call it the magic cheese. Ah, I've got you at last, strange creatures. This is exactly why you should always listen to me. Let's get out of here. Uh, uh, oh. And they speak too. I can't. It's impossible to abandon such a creamy, cozy robe de show. Hey, what's going on? Stay focused on Moliere and his plays. Go ahead and run away. I have proof of my great scientific discovery. You don't want me reading your little secrets, Marinette? I don't have any secrets from you, Tiki. You're the only one I can discuss my double life with. Even my parents or Alia don't know me as well as you do. I'm so happy to have you, Tiki. You're the only being I can really be myself with without ever having to lie. I'm really happy to have you, too. Good night, Tiki. Good night, Marinette. We must tell our owners or Master Fu the truth about what happened today. Chill out, Sugar Cube. Don't forget that nobody can capture or record us. I know that, but we were actually seen by a human and at school, too. That could jeopardize our owners' secret identities. Uh, okay, I promise you I won't eat any more magic cheese ever again. And really, what's the worst that could happen anyway? Mr. Damocles, can you confirm rumors that Mrs. Mendeleev isn't here today because she'll be appearing on the Alternative Truth TV show? Where everything isn't always true, but nothing's really false. It is indeed quite possible that Mrs. Mendeleev has made a scientific discovery of utmost importance. Can That's we watch the show, please? Huh? Oh, my brother's one of the guests, too. And we're back for the next segment of Alternative Truth, where everything, where everything isn't, isn't always, always true, true, but nothing is really false. false. Let's welcome our last guest today, Miss Mandalayev, a science teacher at Francois Dupont High School. Yay, that's our teacher! Kim, uh, sit down, please. Hello, thank you for having me. You're going to describe an innovative scientific theory to our panel of experts who will then decide if it's true or false. True or false! Sit. So, Miss Mandalayev, you already know our jury. Its members are, as always, the famous singer XY and the one and only Mr. Banana. Stay peachy! And the incredible Manon Shamak. Daughter of our favorite news reporter, Nadia Shamak. Over to you, Miss Mendeleev. What you are about to witness is proof of the existence of interdimensional creatures with incredible powers who can move through matter and seem to be attracted to aged cheese. I discovered the first of these creatures soon after school began in September. I started observing it closely. Then I discovered a second one. I have proof. Watch closely. You can't see the creatures themselves because they're not filmable. But look right there. <laughs> Given that I was unable to capture these creatures on video, I've made sketches of them to give you an idea of what they look like. What's that even supposed to be? I seriously doubt this show is remotely scientific whatsoever. Mrs. Mendeleev, are you serious about actually chasing cheese-eating ghosts? I'm always.